द नेम ऑफ अल्लाह द मोस्ट मर्सीफुल एंड योर मर्सीफुल हेलो एवरी वन हेयर द ग्रामर ट्री फॉर क्लास फोर इज विद मे एंड हेयर इज द सिलेबस ऑफ दिस बुक हेयर यूर नंबर वन इज नाउन वन कंपाउंड नाउन्स गिवन एट दिस नंबर वन टू थ्री एंड टू दिस लेक्चर इज अबाउट दिस यूनिट सो लेट स्टार्ट आवर टॉपिक हेयर आई हैव ओपन दिस पेज पेज नंबर वन एंड अगेन यूनिट नंबर वन नाउन्स वन कंपाउंड नाउन्स दिस टाइम रादर टू हैव एनी स्लाइड और पावर पॉइंट आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू गो थ्रू द डेफिनेशन और द कॉन्सेप्ट गिवन एट दिस पेज और इन दिस चैप्टर एंड यू जस्ट फोकस ऑन द एक्सरसाइज दैट विल बी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू सो हियर टू Uh, things are uh, given in the Rian. Uh, Rian mean about the concepts which you have heard in the earlier classes, and the first one is here a uh, common noun, and that is circle for you, and the other one is proper noun. Hopefully, you will be aware about common noun and proper noun. I am going to just read about the definition for you. A common noun is a general name. general name a name which can be of many things of many persons that is given to all things places animals or persons of one kind like book we have many books there are seven continents countries there are many countries so river dog girl boy city etc this is the definition and examples are common known and you are supposed to memorize this definition मिल गए कपड़े यहाँ पे यहाँ पे कपड़े पूरे हो गए आपके well the guys the next definition is about a proper noun and here the definition of this is given a proper noun is a special name given to a particular thing place animal or person and the examples are asia canada nile mira salim let me explain to you that proper noun is always written in capital letters and proper means the name that is of a particular person country which is not in common is called proper noun again you are supposed to learn the definition and uh, uh, with examples so here the next topic is collective nouns collective noun is another kind of nouns and uh, the definition is given in the books and about collective nouns you have read in your textbook so i'm going to re explain it for you collective noun is a noun that represents the collection or groups of similar kind of persons or things so collective nouns are a special kind of common and proper nouns so it means collective noun can be a common as well as proper noun a common and proper noun that is a name of a collection or group 
here our focus is on the collection or group of similar things all the persons is known as a collective noun examples are crowd committee herd united nations etc so here uh, is further reading you can do this reading for your own self i'm just going to discuss one or two examples of collective nouns here and the first one is mother has lost her bunch of keys here bunch means a, a sort of keychain which may have many keys so that keychain with many keys will collectively be called as collective noun and the name of this is bunch another example is for you he bought a lot of furniture for his new house so when you talk about the furniture you doesn't you are not talking about only a chair or a bed or a table furniture mean uh, all the things including a uh, dressing table sofa table chairs etc so again furniture is a collective noun representing a group of uh, different things another example for your understanding is my family will soon move to the whole family when you talk about your family you are not talking about only your mother or your father or your brother or your sister family means your mother your father your brother your sister maybe your grandparents collectively so family is a collective noun having many persons in it hopefully these examples will be helpful for you again you are uh, supposed to do the reading for your better understanding now i'm going to move at page number 2 <clears throat> here i have opened the page number 2 and exercise a is given over here and what is asked to do the statement is pick out the proper and common nouns from the following sentences and state which of the common nouns are collective it means first you have to find out a common and proper and then you have to state which common noun is also a collective noun so you are supposed to find out here three things common noun proper noun and collective noun the first example is example mean a uh, statement is i a herd of cows was grazing in the field here there are three nouns herd cows field herd is a collective noun cause it is representing a collection of cows so cows is a common noun and field is again a common noun another example well the statement number 5 the mazar e qaid is a special place for pakistanis here mazar e qaid is written in capital letter so this is a proper noun and pakistanis is again a proper noun cause it's also written in the capitals here place you can call this place a common noun and in this statement there is no collective noun in this way you can attempt this whole exercise whoever the solution of this exercise is given in front of you hopefully this will be helpful for you you can take for the help from your parents well now moving to the next topic and the next topic is compound nouns are compounds well guys the next topic is compound nouns are compounds before going to the definition of this uh, noun i would uh, explain to you that the word compound is sometimes represent the meaning uh, compound means a mixture of uh, more than one things so compound noun is a compound that is made up of more than two nouns and these nouns can be a mixture of common and proper noun or simply a common nouns are simple or it can be a mixture of uh, proper nouns so here the definition is given i'm going to read for you some common and proper nouns are made up of more than one word they are known as compound nouns or simply compounds newspaper news paper as it's written in bracket as tray as tray play thing so play thing two words q 
keyboard keyboard brother in law and here are three words brother in law air conditioner vessel moss white house etc these all all the examples of compound nouns are compounds you are supposed to learn the definition of compound nouns <coughs> next again there is a reading for you you can do it for your own self well here in three bullets is explained uh, over here that a compound noun can be in one word as it's given in newspaper plaything keyboard ashtray etc it can be in two words written as a separate like air conditioner vessel moss again it can be used with the hyphen as it's written in brother in law here these two small lines are hyphens and these words are joined by hyphens and making a compound so you can do this reading for yourself i'm going to move at page number three and here an exercise is given for you what we are asked to do in this exercise is this some of the underlined nouns are compound nouns pick them out and say whether they are proper or common so the first one is my pen friend lives in a town in south africa pen friend pen friend so it's a collective noun as it's underlined and the next is south africa it's again a collective noun south africa made up of two words so uh, one indication of proper noun is that it's always written in capital letters so south africa is a proper noun while pen friend is a common noun you are supposed to write over here common noun the next is the postman put all the letters in the letter box here postman postman made up of two words so it's a collective noun letter books again made up of two words it's a common uh, sorry collective noun but i don't think so that letters is a common noun uh, sorry compound noun i don't don't know why they have underlined it anyhow postman letters and letter books all are common nouns why postman and letter books are only collective nouns while letters is not a collective noun so let's another uh, statement is statement number 13 which i am going to uh, review it for you chewing gum is not a modern invention men were chewing gum even 5000 years ago here two words are underlined chewing gum and invention both are common nouns although it might be a collective noun but both are common nouns so another is uh, okay at number 20 all passengers were asked to fasten their seat belts and switch off their laptops and cell phones here four words are underlined for you passengers seat belts laptops and cell phones and all these words are collective uh, uh, sorry common nouns because they are not proper or they are not capitalized so in this way you are supposed to complete this exercise you can take help from your parents to attempt this <clears throat> exercise hopefully this lecture will be helpful for you thank you have a good time